When we set out, we were just looking for a ramp up, ramp down compute facility. Um, it was shortly after we had engaged with Milliman that Azure became a workable option. We've got a wide variety of different funds that have come from the different legacy businesses. Um, so the more we can harmonize that to look at all of our businesses in the same way, um, it makes it easier for us to um, to do the sums and produce reports and it makes it easier for the board and other stakeholders to, um, to understand what, what's going on. It was a huge eye opener because essentially it was a bit like tapping into a vast array of resource capacity that allows us to deliver you know, the actual modelling significantly faster than anyone had seen before. Uh, now things are massively different. Uh, stochastic modelling, lots and lots of different capital requirements means that you have to run lots and lots of models lots and lots of times um, and for that you need massive amounts of computing power uh, and the advancements in technology have, have really helped us be able to do that. Around about the time when we were doing the business case, uh, we took part in a roundtable discussion with other UK insurers. The biggest insurer there had just increased their private grid from 1,000 to 2,000 processors. We have access to 50,000 at the flick of a switch. I think we're just operating in a different universe now. There was quite a eureka moment when um, calculations were done so quickly and the results came out so quickly. Um, and I, I remember someone saying to Mark Hutton, well, you know, what can I see? Um, what, what is it that's doing all this? And Mark took them to the window and pointed to the sky and said, see that cloud there? So it, again, that was a total mindset change that um, we didn't have a box whirling away in the corner. Um, we were utilising processing power that we didn't have to purchase. We paid for what we needed when we needed it. It certainly um, led to a lot of advantages for, for Phoenix. They can produce their results much more quickly. They have a lot less risk in uh, producing those results. Um, and they need a lot fewer people to, to operate the systems than the, the ones that they've replaced. So that means for our staff and our actuaries, we can use our qualified actuaries and our trainee actuaries in what should be a much more fulfilling role for them around the analysis side rather than the process side where traditionally we have spent quite a lot of our time. The ability to have these standardised processes where on future acquisitions we can literally just take their models and transform them into ours is something that will just make that process so much easier and give us a massive advantage on our competitors. That's the thing that I think will really give us the big wins in the long term. The key thing that the cloud brings you is an almost unlimited access to computing power. You can't really ignore that. Ultimately though, it's about getting the application and the Azure platform to work well together and you know, those results are fantastic and, and, and I think that'll only get better as that environment, which is pretty embryonic today, continues to optimise and move forward.